guys, we are Sean and Christy Michael of Long Long Honeymoon, also known as Loloho. Coming at you with another episode of the Loloho Show. Today we have a fascinating topic, and I'm afraid this is mandatory attendance for all of you Airstream owners and travel trailer owners and RV owners. You're not getting out of this video without a note from your mother. <laughs> Because what we're talking about today is important to the longevity of your investment in your Airstream or, or other RV. What we're talking about is our exterior and certain things that we have done to maintain and restore the exterior of our rig that will protect it for the long term. Yeah, and this is stuff that no one tells you when you buy an RV. Like, the, these are things you need to have done, you know, so... No, of course not. We're telling you now. <laughs> because you're having so much fun when you're buying your new rig right. that you don't want to think about things that need to be done down the road. You don't want to talk about maintenance when you're first buying it. So we had all this stuff done at our favorite Airstream shop in North America. Not just our favorite, but the best Airstream shop in North America. It's our favorite because it's the best. That's right. And uh, it's a place called Vinny's North Bay Airstream Repair. It's located in Santa Rosa, California. You may recall owner Vinny Lamica when we were coming back from Alaska in 2012. We were stranded on the side of the road. And uh, we really first met Vinny and his wife Cindy face to face when our truck blew up in their town. And so we were kind of stranded in their driveway for a couple of weeks. And so we got to know Vinny very well. And Cindy, Airstream Cindy. owner himself. He's very involved in activities and events in California and really across the country. He's very selective about how many rigs he works on at a time. He doesn't take on too much work. He's definitely an under promise over deliver type of guy. I mean, Vinny at this point, he's seen it all. I mean, he services <laughs> Airstreams from all over the country. And so I have absolute confidence when we bring our Airstream to Vinny's shop. You know, we had an experience a few years ago when we first got our Airstream, we took it to an RV service center that knew nothing about Airstreams. Uh, we walk out and we look back and we see a dent on the roof. Big dent on the front roof cap, sort of the front corner of the Airstream, right next to that ceiling fan that the RV center had been working on for the past week. And apparently it's gonna cost several thousand dollars to fix. So we learned the hard way, it makes sense to take your Airstream to some place uh, where they really know what they're doing. And the thing about dealing with Vinny, he's just a great guy. When you go in his shop, you can tell he's just happy to be there. He's happy to be working on Airstreams. So I wanna think for a moment about the things that uh, our Airstream, for example, has gone through. I mean, our Airstream at this point is about, I don't know, a dozen years old. Right now. It's about to hit puberty. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more than a decade old. And over the course of its life, uh, it's been just about everywhere in North America. It's been to 49 states. It's been on the Alaska Highway and back. Six Canadian provinces. Every time you take your rig onto the road, you're subjecting it to a little mini earthquake. <laughs> really? Which in real life is really more like a moderate earthquake. It's like, what, a four and a half? or something, something on the Richter scale is what they say, so. So everything's getting shaken, not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, the upshot is things can break loose. Yeah. You know, you can develop over time gaps in panels. Rivets can, can work their way out. You know, rubber can dry rot. Seals begin to weaken. The weather, I mean, you know, even if you're not taking it anywhere, if you're parked somewhere for a long time. You know, the rain, cold, heat, all those things do their own different types of damage. Hailstorm. Hailstorm. Nice. Over time, our Airstreams and RVs, they just age. And if we're using them, you know, the aging process is accelerated, I think. So here's a list of things that we did at Vinny's North Bay Airstream Repair that really revitalized our Airstream in many ways. I think if you were to see our decade plus old Airstream, from a good 10, 15 foot distance, you might have a hard time distinguishing it from a brand new model. 
Uh, sure, there are a few dings on our rock guards from the Alaska Highway, but you know, overall, we got our rig back out of any shop. Considering everywhere that she's been and all the climates that she's been through, she looks pretty darn good. So Vinny's first step, of course, was an exterior wash. Nothing too fancy about this, but every once in a while, you really need to scrub the complete exterior of your in Airstream, roof. including the roof. And Vinny uses Dawn dish detergent. Yeah, that's his wash of choice. I mean, he's like, it just cuts the grease, it gets the grime off. We're gonna start with uh, washing the exterior. I use a, a Dawn detergent that takes care of uh, the grease and tar or anything that might be uh, on the surface. But then the next thing that Vinny did was a little panel repair. Some of you may have watched our video about mice entering our Airstream. Now we never determined exactly where the mice were getting in. However, we did have a hole next to our step area. And you know, even though the step is a, a couple of feet off the ground, mice apparently- They can are, find their way there. They can jump. <laughs> What happened in brief is we hit one of those orange pylon cones. And when we hit it, that big octagon bottom kind of swung up underneath and just did all sorts of damage. See, here's your subfloor. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's your gas lines. And maybe you can see, we talked about maybe these guys getting in these holes. Yeah. Like if they could actually get up here and sneak through those holes, then, then they're in. Yeah. Vinny took care of that. Yes. I mean, he basically removed the old panel and he gets the new panel material straight from Airstream and measures it out, cuts it to spec, and it's already pre-painted even from the factory. And by the time he was done, that entire area looked like new. Yeah, it was a major difference because it looked really kind of rickety for them. <laughs> That's yeah. a nice way of saying Every it. Every time I looked at it, I heard that old Elvis song, in the ghetto. It was a little Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> so uh, Vinny fixed all that up, and that's again an example of the type of thing he can do. He, now he can even do the full aluminum panel repair, mm -hmm. which is much more involved. So. Yeah, and we actually saw some repairs that he, he had done. And some and that were he was about to do. Some that he was about to do, and yeah, he's definitely qualified to do it and does an excellent job. So Vinny got the, uh, that aluminum panel and the undercarriage fix, and he also repaired the step, so now the step actually extends okay. properly. Oh, got it. Beautiful. Perfect. There's your step. And that'll actually make it a lot easier to retract at night to keep the mice out. Yes. So. Now the next thing that Vinny did is crucially important, and that is a roof reseal. If you own an RV, really of any kind, you need to be aware of the state of the seals on your roof. Now what the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about seals where panels meet on the roof, where you know your cutouts skylights are, are, skylights, fans, fans air conditioning unit, all yeah. that stuff. Because all that is potential entry for water. Anytime it rains, if your seals are not done properly, if they're cracking or anything like that, that's just a spot where water can get in. And when water gets in, you know bad things happen. So you lay several beads next to each other and it kind of creates a nice film. It's a great product and uh, you know you get five, six, seven years out of it. So I recommend every five years to do uh, a reseal uh, on the Airstream, or, or at least a very thorough check. Here's the really troubling aspect of a water leak on your roof. You may never even see it, because sometimes right. the water can come in and it will run down the wall interior panels, and it will get down on your subfloor and your unit, and you may never even know. Especially if it's under a cabinet or something like that. There's just no way to see it. And what can happen is if you have a wood subfloor, as most Airstreams do, then that wood will rot. It gets wet, it rots. And so suddenly you could be looking at needing a floor replacement or subfloor replacement, which is a ton of work. Yeah, a lot of work, a lot of money, a lot of time. You want to avoid it if at all possible. So if your roof has not been resealed within five years, then you need to do it or have it done. Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing like super fun or exciting about a roof reseal, but this is an investment in the longevity of your unit. It will save you headaches down the road. will save you headaches and will give you peace of mind. I look at it as really an investment in peace of mind. And it'll save reason. your wallet down the road too. Yeah. Along with the roof reseal, Vinny also resealed the perimeter of our Airstream around what I believe is known as the rub rail. Mm -hmm. He also resealed around all of our window, you know, edges and around the top of the door. And we actually went in and, and peeled all the old stuff out before he resealed it. So you don't just goop more on top of it. You have to remove the old. So the bone tool comes in very handy. Yes. I'll show you what the bone tool is. I'll put a link up to the bone tool. The bone tool is one of Vinny's favorite tools. And it's just a little piece of plastic that you can use to scrape over metal without damaging the metal. So you can like scrape gunk. If you off have like metal. bugs that are stuck on your airstream and you can't get them off, the bone tool is excellent for that because you can scrape them off without leaving any sort of mark on your airstream. So that's good to do after you wash it if you've got some spots that aren't coming loose. Tree sap. Mm -hmm. Stuff That's like a that. big one. It's really handy in that that case. And then of course we used it to peel out the old sealant from around the rub rail and over the tops of the windows and doors. So if I can do it, you can do it. Right. And I did it. <laughs>
fast. Benny has like the Ferrari of buffers. It's like made in Italy and it's like a $500 deal. There's also a high level of expertise that he has. Mm -hmm. If you go too far with an orbital buffer on aluminum panels, you, you can cut through the clear coat and they can become cloudy. And there's no bringing that back. The only repair is to replace the panel. Like this. This one does this. So you're less apt to burn the surface. But again, it's, it's a skill that you have to learn so that you don't uh, do permanent damage to your clear coat on your panel. I think you have to have a lot of expertise to do this sort of buffing, polishing. Because you have to use sort of a light hand, I think. Yeah, you got to know not to go too far. Final step that Vinny did to our exterior, and I actually helped out with this. Those of you who think that I'm completely incompetent when I'm around actual power tools and a toolbox, I was able to sand uh, the front hitch area and also the rear bumper of our Airstream, and we did a new paint job on those areas. And this is one of those cosmetic treatments that I was really excited about. It really revitalized the outside of our camper because I think the, the tongue and the bumper sort of aged it a little bit because even when it was all clean and sparkly and pretty, you'd see the tongue and you'd see the bumper and it'd be like, eh, you know, you can see the age there. And this step, you know, was like a little extra facelift, like a little, little touch. <laughs> yeah, this is a little Botox for yeah. our for our airstream. Really? Not like Joan Rivers. <laughs> no, no, no. Rest her soul. No, this is uh, <laughs> it's subtle, but it was one of those things that makes a huge difference when you're just looking at the trailer because when you're unhitched, you know, and if you know you're backed into a campsite, what's the first thing people see? They see your tongue, you know. I mean, that's what's sticking out at a campsite. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So, if that looks nice, it makes your whole rig look better. And, Vinny pointed out, this is not only a cosmetic treatment in that area, it's also a maintenance issue because when you paint that metal with Rust-Oleum paint, it helps resist oxidation over time. If you don't paint it, then over time, all that stuff's going to rust. The truck is always throwing dirt and debris at the hitch, so if we do have a nice painted surface and then the truck throws a rock, now it's exposed, you know, the metal to rust and corrosion. So, I, I mean, I would do this, you know, every couple years, depending on how you use the trailer. So, the painting is actually maintenance related as well as cosmetic. <laughs> About to fall apart in it. Mm -hmm. And I have to give an additional shout out to my other favorite Airstream specialist, yeah. and that's a fellow named Harry DeArmond, my father-in-law. Sorry, he's our private repairman. Yeah. He's not available for work. Harry fixed these boxes underneath our Airstream. There's a storage box to the rear and also the box that surrounds the water inlets towards the water front connection. of the trailer. Both of those had oxidized. The water box had basically just completely rusted out. So after, well, 12 years, this is what's left of our original water uh, compartment, which Airstream built out of steel that obviously is not particularly durable. We'll have to, we'll have to ask Airstream about that one yeah. day. Like, why aren't these boxes made out of aluminum or at least stainless steel or something, something that doesn't that fall apart in five years? Yeah. So I had to give a shout out to Harry. He's just sort of an amazing do-it-yourselfer guy. He restores classic cars and works on them pretty regularly. So I guess this is just in the same vein for him. He actually took sheets of aluminum. He took all the measurements from the old boxes and cut new boxes to specs and installed them out of aluminum, which will not rust. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. After all these things were done, I mean, I really feel the exterior of our Airstream is in great shape overall. Yeah. I, mean, I have peace of mind from the reseals that we're not going to have damaging water leaks. And the exterior looks about as good as it could possibly look after more than a decade in 49 states. So that wraps up this episode of the Loloho Show. We are Sean and Christy Michael. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Please do so. It makes a huge difference for us. It sort of revitalizes us and gives us some inspiration to shoot more videos. If you're not sure how to subscribe, if you're watching this video, in the lower right-hand corner of the video, there should be a little 
square icon. It's red and it says subscribe. Yep. Click that thing and you can figure out the rest. And then once you're subscribed, you get a notification every time we upload a new video. So you won't miss any new videos. You'll be the first to know when they go live on YouTube. We'll know that you're part of the YouTube fam. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It's always nice to know that people enjoy what we do. Leave us a comment, say hi, let us know if there's something you want us to do a video on. And um, it's nice just to get some feedback from people. You know, if you have nice things to say. If you don't have nice things to say, just move along. Move along, move along, move along. as the stormtrooper yeah. said. Like my mama says, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Is that what she says? That's what she says. Wise advice indeed. Until next time, we are Sean and Christy Michael wishing you a hearty Lo-lo-ho. Lo -lo -ho. Lo -lo -ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. You want me to pick you up? Oh, you give me the paw. Oh, you know how to get what you want, don't you? <laughs> All right. <laughs>